Welcome to West Coast Wednesday here on Prospectors Radio with Kathleen Biffle, Rich Cooley, Scott Swiftwater Tony, Indiana Gold Hunter, Dennis Dayton, and your host, Tim Grimes. We hope you enjoy the show and thanks again for listening. All right, everybody, welcome back to another West Coast Wednesday here on Prospector Radio. I'm your host, Tim Grimes, and joining me tonight, as always, first off, we got Miss Kathleen Biffle. What's going on, Kathleen? I seem to be first. <laughs> Yeah, are you are you digging that now? It's like on Wednesdays, Kathleen is first. I'm getting used to it, yeah. Yeah, see? If you ain't first or last, <laughs> That's right? right. <laughs> so Kathleen is... Well, hi, how is everybody? Good, man. Good. I missed you guys Sunday. Sorry, you know, we couldn't do a show and, you know, Yeah, things. I mean, it was... It, it is what it is. Right. And, uh, we had a... Be- it ended up being very, very beautiful uh, on Sunday evening which was kind of annoying because it rained. Yeah, all Saturday, <laughs> all right? All weekend. Sure, of course it would, right? When you want to get course, off the yeah, creek. It starts getting nice, and then I get all like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I want to do that, and yeah, weekend's over. <laughs> <laughs> but I see you got the camper out. Yes, yes, we uh, did get the camper dewinterized, and Chad did a great job. Um, everything nice. worked. Except uh, we did have a little crack in the faucet. The oh, kitchen like... faucet, because evidently on the one that came with the, the travel trailer, it had like where the uh, aerator is. That it, it was actually an attachment held on by this tiny little screw on the bottom. Mm-hmm. And I guess water or moisture must have got in that where that screw is, so it cracked it a little bit. So I put in today a new one. Okay whole new kitchen faucet which was really easy but and it's really pretty so Ooh. the next time you see us we'll show it to you you have the fancy <laughs> kitchen faucet nice can't wait to see it <laughs> as far as like you know what camper faucets are yes but, correct yeah. yeah it gives you the illusion that it's brushed nickel but it's oh. really plastic it's like <laughs> it's like it's a fancy glamper Faucet. It's a glamper. <laughs> it's a glamper. You got a glamper now, Kathleen. Yeah. That so is cool. that's, that's exciting. And this it weekend, is. we're hoping, even if it rains, you know what? We're still just going to camp somewhere and start the dredges just there to make sure that they're running. Well, there you go. We may not like be able to get in the water mm-hmm. as much if, if it's too high. Right. You know, we've been getting a lot of rain lately. Um, but just to see if everything's working. Okay. I'm looking at the extended forecast. And, are you kidding me? Yep, yeah, rain. Yeah, and, rain. And it, and prom- <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, I don't, even, I don't even talk about that. Two, three, four, five, it's six, prom seven, this weekend, eight, right? So they're, they're showing so rain. So we got to stay close by we have anyway. To be oh, close yeah, right, right. Yeah. I'm going to have to drive back. Yeah. And, uh, you know, send her off and everything and then get right back to the the creek right gotcha Uh, if it's nice if it's just rainy i just probably just come back i I don't want to tell you kathleen but it's showing rain for the next nine days well did you see the system that's coming through it's like really slow and long that's why right and it's got in in good old ohio where it's situated (laughs) um it's just gonna move northeast and we're just gonna follow the links of that storm yeah, of course so it's moving at the speed of dennis <laughs> really okay so yeah it's really gonna, it's gonna be a long slow, slow rain yep <laughs> yeah nine so, days God. good times good but times. we're making the best of it but like you said at least you can go camping and stuff you got the awning yeah. you know it, it's, it's a camper it's not like we're camping out right in the, you're the not tent. in a tent you can yeah i mean heck yeah that's it's kind of nice, actually, nice. probably to sit underneath your awning so. in the rain and why it's camping yes. and just enjoy it. Well, I'm excited. It, it'll be nice just to, to, to get out of the house because oh. <laughs> we've been binge watching uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, no. I, I have never seen this. Have you? Nope. nope. Never have okay. watched Have I seen I, one I episode? I thought I was the last person on Earth who has <laughs> not seen this series. <laughs> And Shad keeps saying, oh, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. You'll like it. You'll like it. Because I like, you know, I like the, you know, medieval whatever stuff. And, right. Uh, but I, I, I do like the story, but I don't like all the violence. 
Okay. And there's a bunch of naked people. <laughs> I heard that, that. There's a lot. There's of just people. a lot of nakedness. Going a lot of nakedness on. going on in that show. Nakedness and violence. And violence. What a great plot. <laughs> and sometimes it's not, even, it's not even like you know, good naked. It's like bad naked stuff. Really? Too. What? Yeah. I can't even explain. You gotta watch it. It's we're on season five. I think episode four. Okay. And I, the the goal, I guess, is to get through all the seasons so that the finale is coming up. But I don't in, I don't know when. <laughs> when is that? I think it already started, didn't it? Well, we don't get cable, so we have to wait. Okay. So, yeah, the final seasons just came out. They did two episodes. <laughs> they got pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> I have not watched one episode, and, and I've refused to even start. Yeah, you I know mean, our- I took biology, and uh, they are, it kind of looks the same unitedly. I'm just saying. What? 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 <laughs> I, I took Who is this? biology. Is, is all this, all, is everybody this a Pied people. Piper? <laughs> you're the one who's saying it. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm lost again. Okay, never mind. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you I was, go play the magic I was completely for a while. lost, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep, I was. <laughs> did not get that one at all. I. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. Me too. <laughs> but, but anyway, uh, for those of you out there that got any of the messages, we didn't have a show on Sunday, and we still managed to get um, <laughs> a messing with Swift Water. Nice. <laughs> message out there. See, that's the way to do and it. I, I want to thank you guys for that. Sure. You're welcome. Oh. Hey, we think about you, man. Yeah, right. It's so special. I, I just thought it was come. funny. Like we're. You know, we were sitting, we were going to a family thing for Easter, and I got a notification on my phone, and it was like, hey, Scott Tony is tagged. And I opened it up, and it's like a video of you playing your little fancy recorder. I'm and like, I was like, oh, oh no. no. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is not happening. Is he just asking for it? <laughs> Yeah, I think Number you. one, that was not a recorder, <laughs> by the way. Uh, uh, well, that is a uh, Indian spirit <laughs> flute that is yeah, it's kind of costly, and they're really nice. And I, it I was. Love to play it was like things. a nice little flute. <laughs> and you yeah. played so well. You did. <laughs> you know, your rendition of Hot Cross Buns was fantastic. <laughs> is it Hot Cross Buns or Three Blind Mice? Yeah, they both yeah. sound alike. <clears throat> What one the was it, Scott? Buffaloes. Scott, what was it? Three blind mice or hot cross buns? Uh, actually, the funny thing about that particular kind of flute is mm-hmm. because there's no way to play it. There's no instructions. There's no notes. There's, it's what you feel at the time, and mm-hmm. then you play that. Oh. It's kind of that kind of a flute. I got gotcha. The spirit <laughs> just calls call I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And nice swimming yeah, pool, by the way. It, Oh, it's really nice. I mean, if you you got to put the your fingers got to be directly where they got to go, and they're, they're it's it's really a precise instrument. Okay. But when you get the sound out, it's great. <laughs> oh, and Chad <laughs> posted the the link. Yeah. So if all of you want to watch, nice uh, the magical flute session. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Chad, buddy. <laughs> Hey, I mean, why not, right? Oh, come on, Scott. What what would you do without us, right? <laughs> yeah, look how boring it would be. How boring would it be? Hey, I'm I'm just trying to share your musical talents with the world. It was good. You you did a really good job, honest. Yeah, way to go. It, it was just see? so unexpected to see. Well, of course, you don't expect you know, to see. I mean, I... it just shows how Scott Swiftwater Tony. <laughs> Is like an onion. There are so many layers so many. to this man. So it many. Is. You, get, you know what's funny is because you guys met me and I told you that I do a lot of things. I just I get bored with stuff and just do something else. So many, help. so many layers. I'm telling you. But you know what? I still love gold. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, this week I do have the news. Nice. I just wanted to. Uh, last week was kind of an off week. It was uh, just. A whirlwind of busy, um, mm-hmm. and <laughs> just didn't have time. And I, I apologize. Right. No, it, it, and I think we kind of got confused on last week, last Wednesday show. 
<laughs> but it's but it's all good. Yeah, it, it, it happens. Things happen. And yeah, we it, just kind of went with it. We just roll with it. That's what hey, happens. You know what? I'd like to say just happy Easter. We didn't get a chance to say that Sunday. Oh, but yeah, I can't happy. Do that's right. Now. Happy. Oh, yeah. and happy morel mushroom season here yeah. in the oh East. my god kathleen going for him this year boy i haven't found any yet I oh have... you got come on we, in ohio i know we've looked and someone said you gotta wait till the lilacs bloom and the lilacs are blooming and i'm like uh so we decided <laughs> what yesterday we would go through the woods and try to look for uh some morel mm -hmm. mushrooms mm -hmm. well little did we know we came out of the woods and i had at least I don't know, 50? No, there was not 50. <laughs> there was about six. No, no, there was a lot. There was, there was a lot. <laughs> Kathleen, we I'm going to help you. I'm gonna, I, I, I am going to help you right now. Wait. Listen, this is how you do Everybody it. Everybody wants to if help it, me, if it, no one's so helping listen, me. <laughs> you, I will tell you, number one, you got to look for the brain. Remember, it looks like what you see a brain on the movies. It looks exactly like or it. Or other you'll, you'll body find parts, it. I know. Yeah. But... <clears throat> It takes humidity. So if you have a wet morning, say dewy morning, go out about 12, 1 o'clock where the sun comes up and it gets hot. That's where they pop. Okay. Now, if not, if, if you don't have any rainy days or anything like that, that's when you go and go in the woods and you start looking for the places that stay moist all the time. It's all about the moistness. Such as, moist? Yeah, it's about the moistness, yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. You gotta, gotta have, have it. it. Yeah. Got yeah. 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 But you, they're, they're gonna have like maybe like the sun will pass over and they'll get like a little spot of sun for like two hours and bang, they're gonna come up. You're gonna see them. Trust me. You're uh, okay. gonna see them. Answer me this. I, me I this. saw a lot of patches of moss right. everywhere. Right. Does it grow like with the moss or am I just totally? I've off? never seen it in moss. No. no. No, no, no. Nope. the only you're you, you're thinking the moss is moss always grows on the north side of the tree. That's just an indicator. That and it's of which always way moist. Go. True, it is a moist yeah. area. Yep. You know why? Because it's on the north side. It don't get no sun. That's why it's there. That's how you know which direction. Okay, it is. so it okay. They, they like the sunshine. But, they love the sun. Yeah, yeah. but a morel a morel needs sunshine. Yes. So okay. look for moist, it, sunny areas. All right. Yeah, moist, wet, just sunny. Just yeah. like the, yep. like you would grow worms in. Come yeah. on, you guys have fished. Yeah, oh. I didn't yeah. realize that you could grow worms, but <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in yes. mind. Yes, you can. You can grow worms? Anyway. You, you wait, can wait, you can them, grow right? worms? <laughs> well, you have to be able to play the flute for the mating music. That's right. Oh, you know what? Grow I'm them. Just quit right now. I don't know how you grow worms. What kind of seed do you plant to grow a worm? Is it a worm seed? <laughs> a worm seed. <laughs> to grow worms. And now for everybody out there tonight, uh, uh, just let me, uh, I don't, I'm not on the computer, so I cannot see what you're texting, but these guys can, and I'm pretty sure the way it's going is probably not good. What's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's all right. It's going perfect, Scott. So, well, somebody just wants to know, Scott, uh, were you charming mushrooms with the flute? Right. Not in Arizona. <laughs> There's no mushrooms out there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what. If you're eating mushrooms out here, you're going to be lost for two days. <laughs> <laughs> no, they pro probably yeah. have spikes growing out of them. Probably. They're killer yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, I'm like, no, that doesn't look like a morel. We're not doing it. Oh, jeez. It's, it's no, crazy. No. Nothing it's out not here. Don't place. do that. You will Arizona. find you will find some Kathleen. Once you, you, All right. You so will, I, okay, I I've, I've got it. Look for moistness. Eyes to the ground. In the sunshine. Eyes to the ground, sunshine, moist areas. You okay. will find them. You will. You'll see. You them. know what's going to be funny? You know what funny it, it's going to if she finds her first one, she's going to go Wow, oh, that's, that's so what it looks excited. like. And she'll and find all, all kinds. she's going to like, "Oh, there's one. There's Oh one. yeah, they'll there's be one. everywhere there's then. One. Yeah. That's what everybody keeps yep. telling me. Once you find that first one, they're everywhere. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. They glow. Yes. They Kath really Kathleen, glow. Kathleen, you've probably Even walked like, over a hundred yeah. of them. In okay, your... so it's been what three years since mm -hmm. I've been on the show. Yeah. And every year, we every speak year we of go these through mushrooms. this. Yeah, sure. But there that I have never found. They're out there. You're gonna find them. Yeah. I just tasted one for the first time last year, and it was delicious. They're the best. <laughs> hey, are they Kathleen. Are carbs? I, you know, I don't. Are care. you are you around farmland, Kathleen? Yes. 
Okay, go out and ask a farmer if you can walk their fence row. The reason why nobody ever walks a fence row, but the fence row has never died. That's why it's a fence row. Hmm. They will grow in a fence row. You'll see them a lot in a fence row. Interesting. I'll have to take a look. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. <clears throat> You'll find out. You're going to find out. It's going to happen. I, anyway, when we were looking for news stories tonight, uh, what we came across one, or Shad did, and he, he sent it to me at work, and I just, I laughed, but it's not really funny. Right. Because I mean, it's kind of sad. Okay. Well, it, it's just tragic. Okay. But, <laughs> okay. But you, I laughed. But you laughed. <laughs> I've been watching the Game of Thrones too long. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, um, here in Ohio, actually, and this happened this week, that morel mushroom hunters went into the woods, uh-huh. and they found a hu- human remains, oh, like in a big bag. In a bag, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think it was Pike County, Ohio. Yeah, and wow. that's like southern Ohio. That's not too far from where we prospect. No, I, I heard that <laughs> yeah. that happened, but I didn't hear the details. Yeah, yeah. but I, we haven't heard anything mm-hmm. about who it was or how they died so oh. more to come but yeah you that, know yeah. that that actually is near Chillicothe right. and that area actually has this unsolved murder uh, case serial oh. killers serial actually. killers down there. there's a serial killer down in south of Chillicothe mm-hmm. that's not too far from when we prospect right. for gold All right true uh, but anyway I think it may be related. That I'm gonna it I'm gonna be, say it's yeah. related. It's it very highly could be. That's interesting. There you go. Well, yeah. Let but me... that was fake news, guys. So yeah, don't you know, take it with a grain of salt. Right. Very right. interesting. So Kathleen, yeah. what are we? Uh, what's the essential oil of tonight? Ooh, tonight we are doing the black pepper in uh, jade lemon. It's kind of like a energizing blend that helps uplift your mood and helps your concentration and gives you clarity of thought well wow. I, everybody's yeah, got to listen to kathleen about this oil <laughs> thing now kathleen no seriously when we went to indiana over the weekend uh, uh-huh. the girlfriend grabbed a, a lime and put it in uh-huh. the car and she drove home saturday by herself and we Keeps were all, you awake, we it? were all exhausted and she did it she said i did what kathleen said and it kept yep. her awake and got her home, you know. Hey, you know, sign up with me. I'll, I'll, I won't uh, steer you wrong. See, it's all they got to do is click that link that Shad's going to post in the chat room, <laughs> and they can get all the information they need about those essential oils and how they work. I mean, this good, good tip, Kathleen. It, it sure came in handy. <laughs> I appreciate the commercial. Oh, that. Uh, I really do. Thanks. <laughs> it's my pleasure. It, it's a it's a good product, and I think people need to know more. No, about I mean, it. if if a lot of you who know me through the years know that I suffer from anxiety and mm-hmm. and depression, and 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 I just have a really stressful life. But I'm telling you, this and not because I'm a distributor. It, it really has changed my life. Exactly. Right, Chad. I'm nicer. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> He'll vouch for me. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. I can't hear you, Tim. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm right here. <clears throat> Where'd I'm, you go? I went down the hall. <laughs> oh, I thought there was no hall. hall. I still got a little hall. It's not quite the hall that it was before hall, but there's still but, a little hall. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's funny. I'm still got the dreaded. I need a longer cord. To get away from the hall, period. Okay. I need like an eight-foot iPhone charger cord. Ooh, we've got one of those. That's what I need, and that would get me away from the hallway and put it right there. It'd be so nice. But, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to let you know it worked and uh, very impressive. You know? Yes. Good, good. I'm glad you guys tried it out. Yep. And I'm glad everything, you know, um, that you guys were able to get to Indiana safely and back yeah probably be going back did you meet up with the pirate no i did i didn't have time okay you know it's just too much going on he was posting things about this um osgood is it osgood indiana yeah i seen something about a buffalo buffalo. yeah Uh uh-huh i I see that that. was 
He's a he didn't st- post the one that he sent private. No, privately. he's a he's a strange little man. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's and, all. And you guys didn't see the one he um, sent to us personally. Um, kind of disturbing. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of little man. He is a strange little did you man. You say Scott. strange yeah, little man? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm gonna go out and find the garden gnome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Cap. Maybe, he's, he's, maybe he's protecting a freaking lot of gold. Uh, yeah, that's a real good idea, Kathleen. Yeah. Uh, you watch out, Dennis, if you're listening. He'll be like the Travelocity <laughs> gnome. Start taking him with message. Yeah, it's that like, was Jesus, funny. Jesus, God. Okay. I got a laugh out of it. I know, I, I did too, but it's like, oh, my God. I think I called him a freak. <laughs> yeah, you did. So you're a freak. <laughs> Yes, you did. It was like sweet. All right. Well, it's good to be here. Good to have you uh, here, Back Kathleen. to our regular yep. Wednesdays. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah. Kathleen, thank you so much for being here. And we look forward to the news, as always. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Also joining us, we got the other half of the Biffles. We got Mr. Shad Biffle. What's going on, Shad? Not much. Not much? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving along. <laughs> I stole his thunder. <laughs> Did she, she rambles. I don't, I don't even know what ramble. she even talked about, but she rambled for so, a good 23 minutes. So did you go I out? I actually have notes. Now, now, wait. Here's where I'm lost at. There was 50 what? I never got the rest of the story. 50 Shades of Grey? No, when you said you went in the woods. And, oh, ticks. <clears throat> she didn't have 50. 50 there ticks. Like ticks. <laughs> They're icky. Didn't you spray your pants before you went no. out? All right, I think we're back. I'm not sure. Lost, uh, completely lost internet. I'm trying to get the crew back here, see what happens. Try calling them again and see what happens. <clears throat> Hello? All right, I don't know what in the world happened. I completely lost all internet. It's so like, are we back on the yes, air? Yes, we are live. Uh, our, we are definitely live again. I just, we are live. I just don't know what the uh, happened. Sorry about Hello? that, folks. I don't know what happened. It just completely crapped out across the board. It was like, Hello? Oh, yes, yeah, Scott, we're here. All right, so Shad, can you, where can was you speak we? up? So where, where was we, Shad? I'm sorry. I know we was talking to you when I lost you. So can you hear we me? We can't remember. That was like... Ten minutes ago. I know that was like <laughs> so long ago. <laughs> oh, I know. Moving on. S- seemed like it was. Uh, so if it happened, I don't know if it'll happen again. I don't know what's going on. I just it just gone, <laughs> gone, just like that. Poop. But it's like I'm talking to you. I'm asking you about the ticks, and I asked if Kathleen sprayed her spray on her legs that she made, or her pants. No, I didn't. That would have been a good test. It would have been. She should have lathered up her essential oils and. Mm-hmm. Didn't walked you, out there but you, so you got a bunch of t- ticks on you they're bad this year oh, i've never seen that like that oh my goodness they so, got it all over the dog it was just yeah we had one of the dogs with oh, us oh man the long-haired dog oh no so that was a lot of fun oh yeah oh imagine that a shaggy dog getting ticked that's just <laughs> crazy <laughs> <laughs> the, the ticks were even sticking on my bare legs, okay? They were just... And then one was already starting to bite into Shad. <laughs> oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm sweet. They're hungry. They're hangry. Yeah, true, they are. <laughs> they definitely are. I mean, that's... For See, sure. that's why you should stick to Koi. Yeah, be safe out there, guys. Yeah, watch for the old ticky... And the, the, the state park where we were at um, a couple of years ago... A lady died from one of the ticks that got her oh, man, camping over good. here. Yeah, let's keep. That's that. where we were walking. <laughs> not good. <clears throat> so yeah, do uh, yeah. make sure you spray yourself. <laughs> <good>. Uh oh, <laughs> anarchy! <laughs> so shit, are you there? <laughs> oh, it's going to these crazy nights here. Must be a full moon out there or something. Yeah. Scott, are you there? 
Oh no, my we're God. here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had to go to you. No, it's okay. I was just gonna. No, no, I'm here. I'm moving things. You're moving things. When are you? Okay, I'll, we'll figure it out. In well, a minute. People, things are starting to. Hey, hey, I got things going dead. I gotta put them in the charger. If not, I'm just gonna be out. Oh, so, okay. Well, put them uh, in. The charger. I don't know. I don't know what that was earlier. That was really weird. Uh, by the way. The dogs barking. That or the in- no. The internet outage. Not the dogs barking. Yeah, like I, you, you guys like totally went out everywhere. I'm like, well, oh, yeah, I, guess that I, was I, I lost that show. I lost internet. Oh, okay. So yeah, it dropped. That, everything went. The broadcast, the Skype call, the the website, everything gone, 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 gone. Yeah, at first, I, at first I thought it was me. I'm like, come on, man. There's no way. <laughs> no, nope. like, come on. I this time it crap. was me. So let's All just right. hope it don't do it again, okay? All right. We've All got right. a big agenda. Okay. It was right back to you, Kathleen. Go ahead. Back to Shad. No, it's not it back to actually, Kathleen. It was to Kathleen Shad. just likes to talk. It was back to Shad. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. So you, you got the faucet fixed. You had you some chores to do. Got the camper well, yeah, out. No, we've been waiting to get the uh, camper all dewinterized, ready to go. So that was what I did this past weekend and then put the faucet in today. So it was all good. It's it's ready to go. Nice. Battery was charged up. Propane's in there. Mm-hmm. Everything's working. Mm-hmm. Oh, time to go somewhere. Very nice. Very nice. Now you're going to try you're... to hopefully go this weekend. Yep. I hope. That's so. the plan. I hope you get to. <clears throat> yeah, I really do. But yeah, we like uh, Kathleen mentioned. There's a lot going on. Um, Want to remind everybody about the uh, raffle for Gold Prospector Space. Mm-hmm. Um, we're in uh, what the final days of that. Yeah, it's getting down so. to the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, Five dollars gets you a ticket into it, um, and all you have to do to enter is hit the donate button on Gold Prospector Space, right? Yep, <laughs> it's that simple. And did you see the uh, great prizes? Man. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of prizes in this one. A lot. Yeah. That's another it's big, <laughs> huge. <laughs> excuse me. Gosh. Huge raffle again, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, what's that, mountain goat trauma? I always forget the name of them, them small ones. That thing's pretty cool. The, the, the dirt with like two and a half grams of gold in it. There's silver coins. It's, it's all, it's all kinds of goodies in there. You know? And aren't we throwing the back of yeah, dirt? Aren't you guys? I think so. I think Dennis said he is and you guys are, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's buffalo right. Buffalo horde. A buffalo horde and a, and a Dayton dirt <laughs> that's right and i uh thanks to bob drake who started this that's right heck yeah it's pretty cool he cool. came up with it all on his own and started it and, you know and uh we really appreciate it bob we thank you for sure and so get in on it if you want before it's too late because like shad said the days are getting closer and what else yep. we got shad tonight and, uh, Oh man! Don't aren't we going to announce tonight the winner of the dress like Swiftwater contest? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, yes. I was wait. I was waiting. Somebody's getting a gram of gold. Uh huh. Yep, and that was easy contest to enter. And, hey, somebody. And you know what? They they didn't enter it, but one that we had. There's some pretty good entries. They're funny. You know, they definitely yeah. are. I would have loved to have seen, like, 50 entries, you know? But Shad... I know, it's all for a gram of gold, man. I know, right. I'm, I'm like, surprised we didn't have more. I know, I guess everybody's got you know, enough gold. I, that's what I was... That my, It blew my mind. I was like, really? Yeah. And my, my old lady's like, well, I should get in that. And Ben's like, I should get in that. I'm like, you guys can't, because they, you, they know you know me and stuff. Man, I'm like, don't you matter. can't do that. No, it was... Well, we all voted, so it doesn't matter. I mean, anybody could enter. I mean, we didn't say you're not eligible for members of Prospector Radio or their immediate well, know, families. <laughs> right? I just wanted, you know what? I want a real member to win. That's the thing. All right. You know? I see. Yes. And there is one that did. Yeah. There Who did. is it, Shad? There is a oh, winner. Oh, we want to announce it, huh? Do you want to announce it now? You want to do Roll it now? that beautiful you bean want, footage. you want to announce it now, Shad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shad, do you want it? You wanted to announce well, it? You now? want me to? Well, you, well I'll let you I, announce I it. You are the producer. I don't Our care. winner for the dress up, like Scott Swiftwater Tony, 
is Dwight. <laughs> Dwight. Dwight. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Dwight. And which pitcher was the winner? It was the, uh, the one with him standing there in a white T-shirt, jeans, cowboy hat, red handkerchief, and holding a bucket of <laughs> oxy clean. <laughs> oxy clean. That, I like that. Yeah. That, that, that was that, funny. Yeah. Now, it, and, you, hey, you know what? I got to say it. I showed that picture to the old lady. She died laughing. I'm like, you know what? He's he's totally in the lead right now. He nailed now. it. But <laughs> but now that 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 picture that Joe posted, the last one, the one with the dog dressed like you. That was, that was number two. That, that was number two, that and it was, was funny that as was, all get out. I laughed good. so hard when all I right. seen that thing. You know? So Joe did that a great job. Good. Everybody that entered did a great job, but Dwight hit the nail on the head with that one. He had all the elements down to the I know, but I just can't believe for a gram of gold, I more know. people didn't get in on that. I, know. I can't believe that. I kept forgetting. I Yeah. Well, so, so, so far we did the dress like Dennis, and we did the dress like Scott. So far. Now they got to dress like Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with that. <laughs> what do what? you want? Prospect okay. Kathleen, work Kathleen, right. or sit around the house Kathleen. Right. There's three different no. versions. They, I have, you know what's I have really funny, Chad? Kathleen would have to pick. I, I got that one. I'll put a cast on my leg. Say, there I am. I think it should be the prospecting Kathleen <laughs> that you have to dress like. The what? <laughs> prospecting Kathleen, right? No. No? You gotta put pigtails in. Yeah, right. They have to, right. <laughs> I want to see some man buns and pigtails. <laughs> so it, oh it would have gosh. to be the prospecting Kathleen they have to dress like. That's right. See? <laughs> I think that would be... <laughs> and this is when those oils... <laughs> Kick in. Oh yeah, they could be used. You guys haven't seen me lately. I've actually my hair has died. Uh oh. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it's rather light. Uh oh. Okay. No, we haven't right. seen you in a while. It's been a while since we've seen you. Yeah. Definitely. Well, they call it summer colors, right? Yeah, it's summertime. All right. All right. Well, congrats to Dwight and uh, great job. And yes, thank, thank you, you all who posted. Uh, yes, definitely. Actually, Dwight, Dwight, if you're listening tonight, I had really a great laugh and i know that everybody was else funny did. it was even my even my gal laughed all so right that really topped it off it so was, was it awesome. was hilarious all right back to shed all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you gotta reel him in you you know it shed you gotta reel him in oh you yeah know. he gets going out there doesn't he <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> never mind scott <laughs> so, so i don't even remember where we was at shed we get so thrown off course it's like, where was we? I, I know you got birthdays and precious metal prices, though. Yeah, let's get right to the precious metals. As, as we've known, um, gold really has been really getting, having a rough time going. Um, it is up $3, sitting at $1,275. Mm -hmm. uh, silver has climbed $0.09 cents to $14.90. Okay. Platinum's down four dollars, sitting at eight hundred and eighty-four. Um, palladium, that one's up twenty-eight dollars at one thousand four hundred and eleven. And then I think our rhodium, that's up ten dollars at two thousand nine hundred and thirty. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but gold prices are. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they go up, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll have yeah, to see. Well. They've. Not been doing too well the past couple of weeks, have they? Yeah. yeah. They're not They're that not great. Not right not, now. Not going too well right now. All right. So we'll no. see. It'll change. It'll change. <clears throat> All right. What about your birthdays? Oh, yeah. We got some birthdays for everyone. Nice. Uh, since we don't have Dennis, I'll just start reading them. Do so it. nobody has to worry about a song tonight. Oh. Oh, nice Unless thing. you want to play it on your flute, Swift yeah. Water. Ooh. That's an idea. Oh, that's just mean. Come on, shit. <laughs> Get your flute out of your, your little special case. <laughs> Can you, you play what, it, Scott? Guys, Can you play it, Scott? Happy birthday to y'all. <laughs> Funny guy. All right, well, it's April 24th. We have <laughs> Bill Samarin, Blue Star 9, David... David Holtschneider, James Fleming, Jeff Chenevere Dalton, John K. 
Karen Simpson, Louis Gonzalez, Mike, Raymond uh, Grabiek, Rod McIntosh, Sonny Ray Tavener, and The Grower. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> now, t- tomorrow, <laughs> we have Arn Victor Mayer, Chris Top Possum, Daniel Wasson, Darth Placer, Eddie McRory, and Jeff. Darth! Oh, darn. Oh, Did my you God. say Darth Placer? That's what he said. Wow. Darth. Come on. I guess cool. we know who we should highlight then. Ooh, oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. You, do, yeah. you know what? It's got to be Darth. Just do it. It's got to be Darth. Darth. I mean, oh, it has to be. I don't even hey. know when he joined. He posts so much. He's, you know, our <laughs> buddy Darth. I will, I will take the punishment. You go ahead and just post it. Just do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Darth, who listens every week, and, you know, he's always posting on the site. Uh Uh-oh. Even made the page unresponsive for a moment. Uh Uh-oh. But Darth (laughs) Placer, throughout the Internet and online community, he's always known as Darth something or other. Uh Uh-huh. So, you know, evidently he really likes Darth Vader. That's his name. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing. guessing. I don't know. Yeah, it could be the picture on his profile. Could be. <laughs> Who really knows? But what type of prospecting does he like to do? Well, he enjoys dredging. He belongs to the CCPL and the CVGP clubs. Uh huh. Which I think is what the Central, Central Valley Gold Prospector Valley. Chapter and yeah, Virginia maybe. Yeah, Virginia? Central. I don't know. Yeah, Central yeah. Virginia. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, how did he find the site? Now, this is a great question right here that we ask everybody who joins, you know. He sensed a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's an answer. <laughs> that's That's got to be the best answer it, I've it, ever it, seen. And I, can actually, I think so. I can actually picture him saying that and hearing him yep. saying that with his voice. <laughs> exactly. Now, the equipment he uses, he used a 4-inch custom dark side dredge. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> dark side dredge? Dark side dredge. Yeah, from the dark side. Like the forest. But yeah, if you've ever had a chance to meet good old Darth, make sure you ask for some good uh, crab cakes. He still owes us some. Uh-huh. Uh, we're waiting, Darth. Uh-huh. I hope you bring some by. Uh, but he's, <laughs> he's up in Maryland. Still, right? Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and we've seen him at the past couple uh, Crony Club prospector outings. Yep. So got to hang out. They, they always got the best seafood. That sucks. What's that? They always got the best seafood. The East Coast. Well, that's Maryland. because there's not really an ocean right there in Arizona. Right. Or in Ohio. <laughs> not yet, well, I'm anyway. just saying. I'm just saying it's kind of cold up there. That's why they got the best seafood. <laughs> oh, not yet, anyway. Look at Kathleen. <laughs> well, you know, the earthquake will happen, and you'll have some oceanfront property. There. That's right. In Arizona. That's right. <laughs> and you can get seafood. Hey, you know what? You can get on the you get on the bottom deal nine thousand <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, Darth, uh, we appreciate all your support you've given the uh, Gold Prospector <laughs> Space and Prospectors Radio oh, over yeah. the years. Um, again, he's probably one of our most active members out there. Always posting, starting blogs, chats, forums, everything. And Mm -hmm. we really appreciate and value all of his support and participation. And 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 his dad is Captain Frank. That's right. His dad's even in the chat room, Captain Frank. Yeah. I I love everything he does. It's it's cool. It it makes me laugh sometimes. Have you ever met Darth Scott? No, Uh, not personally. I don't think so. You need to come to the next Cronies Club outing. That's right, Scott. Oh, Talking thanks, to you. Sarah. Yeah, I'd just love to do that. It won't be till September. I'm only five states away. That's all right. Well, how do you know? We, we're still but. I thought down you were, place. like, prospecting your way around the country. You can, like, make a stop. <laughs> yeah, right, Kathleen. Yeah, <laughs> Kathleen, that's totally a good point. I mean, Darth will uh, bring uh, crab cakes even. That's right. right. Maybe. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm going, I'm going north. Well, and then coming right back down. Well, we'll we'll just see where you're at when it's time. I guess you're just not a committed crony. He's not. I guess not. He's not. He's not. Oh we my. We have tattoos. Yeah, right. We all have tattoos. Tattoo. Right. Where's your tattoo, Scott? 
you know what? what? I'm not playing with these guys. I did this in <laughs> Vegas. I'm not playing this shit with you. <laughs> what do you mean you're not playing? We all got ours. You got to get yours. Rowdy. You got to get yours. Then but you're... anyway, we're getting <laughs> off. I just, I just want to say happy birthday to Darth and everybody else today That's and tomorrow right. and all those um, that, you know, we don't know. That's right. Happy, happy birthday day. to all of them. Because the list off. To every one Sundays. of them. That's right. Happy, That's happy That's right. We miss people from on Sundays. Yeah, right. So, Which, so happy birthday to all of them, too, as well. That's right. Everybody we missed on Sunday because we wasn't here. So very cool, Shad. Thank you, brother. And I can't wait for some local events of interest. Can't wait to hear what's going on. Oh, it's it's going to be pretty cool. Kathleen found some doozies out there. Nice. So get ready for some Old West donkey I'm, stuff coming I down. Ready. <laughs> it's a lot of donkey oh, really? stuff. I am ready stuff. for some Old West donkey stuff. I'm telling you. So let's get... That's a little spoiler. <laughs> what? I, I noticed a trend, yes. <laughs> All right. Shad, thank you, brother. Let's get Swiftwater introduced so he... He could talk a little oh. more. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Also joining us, last but not least, you know him. He's been jabbering on the whole time. Scott Swiftwater Tony. What's happening, Scott? <laughs> All right. You know what? We're having a good time tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's, man, it's really weird because you get, I, oh, I, got, I don't, how do you explain it? What? He got like one month. Can you imagine one month of a break and then you got to go back into things? Right. And that's that's where I'm at right now. And I'm like, I'm you know, I'm sitting here and I'm going nuts because mm -hmm. there's nothing to do. It's driving me crazy. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> Is that why you're playing your flute? To right. make you feel better? Right. Uh, well, you know what? If I can play a flute, I can play a flute. You can, I'm just saying. You can ask the flute gods. Yeah. What should you do, Scott? What should you do? Yeah, I'm just saying, this this year's really weird because I, I got a stopover. Uh, well, okay. And I, I didn't figure, I didn't figure a stopover being on top of the game, but there's still where I want to go. It's going to be like 39 to 40 degrees at night still right now, and in which it takes about eh, 20 hours to get up there. Mm -hmm. So if you take it really slow, you might be doing something. But I'll tell you what, I'm I'm just I'm I'm gonna find people that wants to dig gold, and I want to try to make some videos this year and try to introduce people. You know, gotcha. The ones that never get seen, and okay. that's what I want to do. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't be like the wandering buffaloes and go to like to Alaska or nothing. You know, I'm not really. No, you can't. So don't even try. <laughs> You're Scott the Flute Man, Tony. Scott the Flute Man. That, that could be his new name, Scott the Flute Man. Yeah, yeah. but I'll tell you what. You, everybody out there listening on the uh, on on any kind of the radio that we're you know getting, getting out on, you guys you gotta watch. This year is gonna be good because they're they're going to Alaska, which man. Just, oh, I really wish I was there, but this year, I'm. Mean, you know what? I'm going to do something inside the United States. I'm going to kind of take videos and do things in this map. And hey, Scott, up... <laughs> what, bro? Alaska is in the United States, <laughs> so it, we're going to be in the United States too. That's what I've always heard. Hey, hey, Shed. There's a reason why they call it the Lower 48. Figure well, out. Specify. Oh, I'm just saying. Don't you can't count out Alaska. <laughs> How can you count on Actually, Alaska? Actually, technically, we'll be close to Canada. But so. still in the United States. <laughs> what is that? You know what? I was going to say, what? Are you listening to music or something? It's your Indian background flute music. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, Jim, that's funny. I'll, I'll do that. Sound with Scott Swiftwater and the flute man, Tony. But you know what? <laughs> it's going to be really funny. I don't care what you're playing, but it's going to be really funny this year just to to, to do what I really set out to do in the long run. You know, right. I make a lot of videos, but I can't go a lot of places. And this year, I'm going to get to go a lot of places and do a lot of different videos. A lot. Because, I mean, 
I want people to really know what it's like. Not like, oh, you can just play and dig up nuggets. That's not the way it goes. Oh. It's not going to happen. Okay. Well, oh, uh, uh, trust me, ask Kathleen. They did right. dry washing. They're like, oh, this sucks. I know. I love stuff. dry washing. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you really I love it. dry washing? Well, okay, I, I didn't like dry washing as much with the puffer. Than I did with the, you know, with the Keen 151. The that was, that was a lot That's more a great fun machine. Fun because we can move a lot more material. Mm -hmm. I... get a lot more. But don't get us wrong. <laughs> I, I like gotta say, dredging though is definitely our favorite way to mine. Yes, it's, it yeah. is. Yeah. Right. It's, it's oh yeah. Awesome. You're, I know. You're I like See, I like them all. I like sluicing, dredging, and dry washing. Right. You know what? I just I talk about dry washing because there's been times where me and Ben had both come out of the claim, and the only thing you could see is our, 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 our eyeballs. That's it. <laughs> what in the hell is that? <laughs> Keep talking, Swift. Keep just talking, go Scott. With it, man. Yeah. Just go with this it. This is your new background Are music. You... What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you're killing it, brother. It's awesome. Hey, Jim. I <laughs> thought this was not supposed to happen with these guys. <laughs> oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it, Scott. <clears throat> I had to hear it. I had to hear your video. You know, very good. Are you Are you there? Yeah, I'm okay. still here. Continue on. Sound makes the dogs start barking. Don't <laughs> They start howling. I, that's why we had to go. Well, I never thought there was a coyote in the other yard, but he jumped the wall, and I was like, what are you doing, dude? I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot the phone Yeah, the dogs went totally. crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're in Arizona. From that, from that flute music? Yes. <laughs> it's my piper. For dogs. That was, that was not even close. You guys, come on. <laughs> Indian flute music. That's all I had. You know what? For uh, all you listeners out there, if you think that these guys are being too hard on all this with butter, Tony, Aww. please write in and say you're being too hard. Okay, okay Snowflake. Okay, yeah. Well, let's see how many letters we get, Scott. We'll let you know. <laughs> and by the way, uh, is there any way that we can get Shad's email? Well, yeah, sure. Email? Oh, you want my email? It's pretty easy. It's shad.k.biffle at gmail. See how easy that was? There you go. Folks, send so everything that you have to send, that send, email. Send all those complaint letters about being too hard on the Swift That's water. right. Send them. <laughs> send them. Please send them. If you send them, we'll read them on the air. Everyone that's sent. We Ooh, that would be a fun segment. It would be. You send them, we'll, we're going to call it, That's you send them, idea. we'll read them. Let's do um, um, listener mail. Yeah, you send it, we'll read it. That's the new segment. So, send it, we'll read it. You send it, we'll read it on the air. Guaranteed. <laughs> you know what? If you ever have a choice, but there's that no choice. That sounds like a good, good time. It does. That sounds like fun, don't it? I yeah. like it. All right. It's Thanks, a, Swifty. It's official. Thanks, Scott. See you, folks. Everybody at Gold Prospectors Radio just hates Swiss water. <laughs> we love you, Scott. You just make it Me. perfect. You know what? We love you. <laughs> we love you, too. We love you, too. Awesome. Well, Scott, yeah. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to the summer, man. Yeah, no. Videos, man, it's going to work out great. All the good stuff coming up, for sure, right? Yeah. Well, Scott, yeah. I don't want to cut you off, but it's already getting to be ten o'clock. Let's let's move See on. It. Let's do our let's do our. Uh, I'm going down the hall for a minute. Uh, Are you well, going down the hall? Yeah, let's do our AMRA break, and we'll come back with Kathleen's dredging up the news and Shad's local events interest, and maybe we can squeeze in something from Scott too. So we'll be right back, everybody. Do you like to mine for gold? Enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock? Enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by we the people are being designated as off-limits by our own government every single day. 
Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men, and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and public land users on their rights, rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims? For a small tax-deductible donation to their miners' legal fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges the USFS, BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. Freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. It is time for Dredging Up the News with Kathleen Biffle. Mining news from around the globe. Metal detecting, dredging, entertainment news, and fun facts as well. Here's Kathleen. All right, everybody. It's uh, April 24th, 2019, and uh, nice to be back with Dredging Up the News. We don't have any local stories, but, you know, we, we talked a little bit about just a, a bunch of stuff tonight. So I'm just going to hop right into global news. All right. <laughs> All right. In northern Israel, um, an extremely rare Byzant- Byzantine gold coin has been found by a group of school children. Uh, this is the first of its kind to be discovered in the country, and it was four ninth grade students that were walking along a stream in the Galilee region, and they spotted the coin. They realized that what they had, that they made a significant find, and they reported it to their uh, geography and history teacher, who then contact, contacted uh, Israel Ant- Antiquities Authority, or the IAA. So this gold coin was minted by the Emperor Theodosius II in Constantinople, which is now Istanbul. <laughs> and this uh, actually is dated around 420 to 423 CE. So um, similar coins are known from the Eastern Byzantine Empire, but this is the first of its type to be discovered in Israel. And one side of the coin depicts an image of the emperor, and the other shows an image of the goddess Victory holding a staff and a cross. So they got a good certificate or a good citizenship certificate award. Yeah, can you believe that? (laughs) They they find a gold coin that's really rare, do the the right thing, and all they got was a certificate (laughs) of being a good citizen. Really? Oh, that's just wrong. That's just messed up. Well, they turned it in. See? See? Goes to our point. (laughs) Stick it in I wonder if they got an A in the class. That's why they did it, really. Hopefully they got an A. They were probably flunking and was like, oh, this will help us. Yeah. Okay, so the, now we're going to step over to England. England. Um, group of amateur treasure hunters in England found a hoard of gold and silver coins from the 14th century, and they say that this could be worth nearly $200,000. 38-year-old Andrew Winter and three of his friends found 550 coins in total over four days, and this was in the Buckinghamshire area. And these coins, in total, they found 557. Wow. And it includes, there's a, a, a 12-inch ultra-rare, <laughs> an ultra-rare full gold nobles. Uh, I guess that's their money, right? You're right. I From the so. time of the Black Death. Oh. That's what they did, yeah. so. um, The lot will be held safe at the museum. 
and then independently evaluated before it will be sold. Mm -hmm. With the proceeds will be split with the landowner. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. The silver coins are believed to be from the reign of both Edward the First and Edward the Second, from 1272 until 1327. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, they're, at least they're going to split it with the landowner. Yeah, that that's got a happy ending. Yes, it <laughs> they didn't does. just get a certificate. Right. They got a pat on the back. <laughs> they got an attaboy. Yeah. And they don't know how the coins got there. I mean, that was the rest that's of the cool. article, but I thought that was kind that of is, interesting. That's a cool one. All right, so in Africa, billions of dollars worth of gold are being smuggled out of Africa every year. Mm -hmm. uh, this is being smuggled through the United Arab Emirates. Is it Emirates? Emirates, yeah. Emirates in the Middle East. Uh, customs data shows that the UAE imported $15.1 billion worth of gold from Africa in 2016. This is more than any other country, and and it's up from $1.3 billion in 2006. I mm -hmm. apologize for, oh, the, that's all right. it happens. for the background noise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the dogs are vocal tonight ever since you did that flute, by the oh, way. Oh, ever since the, the flute set them off. <laughs> They're still going crazy. <laughs> they way to go, it. Tim. It's all, all your fault, man. I'm and blaming I'm it on the magic flute. All right. It's my fault. <laughs> oh my gosh so anyway um that's the story in africa with the smuggling but they're saying that the it's kind of a shame because most of the the gold that is mined are from small um illegal mines that have you know just horrible horrible conditions mm -hmm. safety mm -hmm. conditions you know, those people doing the mining don't make hardly anything right. off it. I mean, that's a lot True. of money. $15.1 billion. And you've got, you know, it's just, yeah, don't even get me started. <laughs> I'm going to turn this over to Shad now for local <laughs> events of interest. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. All right, I hope everyone's ready for some events coming to you. Uh, real quick, though, we'll look at the events posted on Gold Prospector Space. This weekend, April 27th through the 28th, we have the Indiana Gold Prospectors outing mm -hmm. at the Owen Putnam State Forest. Uh, May 4th through the 5th, we have the Michigan GPAA Barkus, at the Barkus Campground. Okay. Um, the Indiana Gold Prospectors are having another outing May 18th through the 19th. This one's in Indiana. Oh. I guess more to come on specifics there. Um, and then on June 8th through the 9th, the LDMA Athens camp um, is having an open dig there. Oh, all right. And then it looks like this one's out there, but July 20th from 9 to 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at John's place. Oh. <laughs> That's in, <laughs> All right. that's, that's in West Branch, Michigan, part of the Michigan GPAA. It's at <laughs> John's place. I guess if you're in that chapter, you'll know what they mean. You'll know what John's place is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but pretty cool there. Thank, thank you all for posting your events on the site. Yep. Any more, please add them. So oh. now let's get into Raidersburg, Montana. Okay. Attention, gold prospectors and metal detector enthusiasts. The Headwaters GPAA will host the 16th annual Rick Radke Memorial Metal Detector Hunt on April 27th on the Gold Claim in Raidersburg, Montana. Events include the Claim Jumpers Hunt, Silver Coin Hunt, a 50-50 hunt, raffles, silent auctions, lunches, prizes, and loads of fun. The registration will begin at 9 a.m. And again, that's in Raidersburg, Montana. Nice. So pretty cool there. It's a fun one. Oh, now let's head, op head over to Paradise, California. Also this weekend, April 26th through the 29th, this will be at the Depot Museum. Gold Nugget Museums are hosting the traditional Gold Nugget Day celebration in Paradise, California. Despite the recent campfire event and displacement of everything and everyone the town holds dear, the board of directors will host the first returning major event for 2019. Cool. Celebration will occur at the following locations. This will be at the Paradise Community Park, 
will be the main celebration. Mm -hmm. The Mag oh. Magalia Community Church uh, will have a donkey derby. Donkey. The Terry. Did you say Magnolia? <laughs> Magnolia? No. Magalia. Magalia. Okay. Okay. Magalia, <laughs> right. Donkey Derby. The Donkey, donkey Derby. Donkey. The Terry <laughs> Ash Re Recreation Park will host the craft fair. Okay. And the wine and cheese fundraiser will be at the place. The place. The that's place. what it's called. That's the name of the it. place. Um, and the good old fashioned Paradise Elks Hoedown will be located at the Paradise Elks new location. Okay. I guess if you're in the area, you'll I know guess. where this place is at. You'll know where the place is at. Just go to yeah. the place. Yeah. The place. The place. The place. <laughs> Who's on first? Yeah. But be sure to register your Gold Nugget Days badge at the Depot Museum, preferably during regular open hours before the start of the Gold Nugget Days celebration at the Paradise Community Park. Mm -hmm. The holder of the winning prize ticket will take home a bit beautiful, genuine, Butte County Gold Nugget worth more than seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's nice. So that's a pretty cool one, and of course, the campfire really messed up a lot of things in that part of California. So that's pretty mm -hmm. cool that the community is all getting together sure. to continue on a good trans tra uh, tradition there. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, so we'll stay in uh, California and over in Sonora. It's the Old West Fest, May eighteenth at 10.38 to 4 p.m. in downtown Sonora. This event is free. The Old West Fest celebrates gold, but this event will give tribute to the farming, ranching, and lumber industries along with the acknowledgement of the movies made around these parts. Mm -hmm. Dust off your boots. The fun begins the night before on Friday, May 17th when the stagecoach comes to town. A movie will be shown at the Opera Hall and is presented by the Sonora Chamber of Commerce. Saturday, May 18th, the Farmer's Market, twirlers from Twain Hart will be dancing. Musicians uh, will also be filling the air with tractors and presses, uh, keeping the beat <laughs> to their own rhythm, while homemade pies and an ice cream socials will be going on. <laughs> there you go. This gets better. <laughs> this just gets better. <laughs> All right. Now... You know, you say you're one of the best gold panners out there. Well, then you want to head over to Breckenridge, Colorado, June 14th through 16th. It is the Gold Panning Championship. That's right. The Gold Prospectors of Colorado are coming back to Breckenridge to take over the Blue River Plaza for three days of historical fun. Come learn how to pan for gold and watch the 2019 Gold Panning Championships unfold on Main Street. Everyone is invited to learn the basics of gold panning, and all necessary tools will be provided. This event is free and open to the public. Mm. So, Swiftwater, are you going to go there and compete? Well, yeah, I am, Chad. The Donkey Derby? <laughs> no, no, we're not there at the oh, Donkey Derby. Sorry. I'm talking about the, the gold panning championships. Ah, I was planning on it. It's huge. I, I, I would know. lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless they had the world's slowest panner. Or the most thorough. Thorough, panel, definitely. Panner. I am thorough. There you go. Hold on. Did we lose Swift Water? I think we did. Scott? I think we went to get a sandwich. I think we lost him. <laughs> oh, well. Well, we'll move on here to June 22nd through the 24th in downtown Cripple Creek, Colorado. It's the Donkey Derby Days. <laughs> Donkey <laughs> Derby. And this has been going on. For 87 years, people oh. from all over the world descend on downtown Cripple Creek, Colorado, drawn by a chance to watch a race inspired by the town's resident donkey herd. Oh, <laughs> man. So this donkey herd is You're believed... <laughs> oh, uh -huh. that must be Scott. That's Swifty mm -hmm. there. This donkey heard is believed to be distant relatives of the original donkeys from the town's gold rush days wow that's pretty cool, cool there that is so you cool. can enjoy games live entertainment heritage competitions and other fun family activities that will make you your visit one to remember the beginning of donkey derby days dates back to the 1930s when local businessman charlie lahue 
thought a festival would attract people to Cripple Creek. He and some business partners decided that donkey racing would be the main event. <laughs> I thought they just legalized marijuana in Colorado. This they must uh... <laughs> Yeah. <I thought laughs> they built so. a donkey racetrack, found sponsors, food and entertainment vendors, and the result was the first Donkey Derby Days Festival. I, w- I would love to go donkey see that. Donkey Derby Days. I, so, I, join I, in on the 87th year of donkey of seeing the donkey herd that they say dates back to the original donkeys from the town. 87 Gold years of that. Wow. That's a lot of time in donkey racing. Yeah. A lot of donkeys. When we moved to Arizona, <laughs> we're definitely doing a road trip. So, mm-hmm. and, and that's a free event. It's free. That makes it even better. Yeah. yeah it's free. <laughs> so, we got a lot of events going on. You know, you get your metal detector out from Montana. You know, you can go to a gold nugget museum in California. You know, the old West Fest is going on with twirlers, you know, Pies. tractors, Ice and presses cream socials in the beat. Man, you got a gold panning championship Man. of the go. world, we'll say. We're going to yeah. make that up. Yeah, we'll just yeah, wing that The one. world. <clears throat> and then I'm going to have fun saying this for a while, the Donkey Derby the Days. The Donkey oh. Derby Days, the Triple D. That's triple D. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is Triple D. Triple D. Donkey Derby Days. So there, there's your local events of interest. Very, very No chihuahua cool. races, no. though. Yep. We moved up back to donkeys. Back to donkeys. <laughs> yep. All right, That's back to Kathleen for some fun facts. <clears throat> all right, back to Kathleen. Sorry. Oh, no, they're all right. Okay. So our fun facts. Fun facts. Well, recently, we I covered some fun facts about Deadwood, South Dakota. Right. And right. how it got its name. In the past, I've written about and I've also discussed Tombstone, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Um, and how Tombstone, Arizona received its unique name. And for those of you out there that do not know how Tombstone got its name, uh, real quick, Ed Shifflin, a silver miner, gave Tombstone its name when he was searching for silver and people warned him that if he kept looking for rocks in Apache country, that the only rock he would find will be his tombstone. Oh, gee. So that is how the town received its unique name. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so anyway, there are a lot of Old West mining towns out there that have some strange names. And if, have you ever just wanted to know <laughs> how they got their names? Yes, well, tonight's Fun Fact centers <laughs> on some of those strange named western towns sweet, sweet. Um, a little story of how they were named okay and, and when i was looking this was a fun fun uh, a fun fun fact to do because i found so many funny names that were um not out west as well but it didn't hmm. really go with with the theme so i i had to leave those out just wanted Aww. to put that out there okay <laughs> a new fun fun fact fun, a fun fun fact fun fun fact, fun, fun fact. Lots of fun facts okay <laughs> Uh, I'll start with the first one. Uh, the town is Rough and Ready, California. Rough and Ready. <laughs> Rough and Ready. Rough and Ready. So this town was founded in 1849 by a group of prospectors from Wisconsin who had headed west after uh, Marshall's discovery of gold in California in 1848. Mm-hmm. Well, the party named itself Rough and Ready Mining Company of Wisconsin in honor of General Zachary Taylor. The company leader served under General Zachary Taylor in the Mexican War, and Taylor was the 12th president of the United States. You guys didn't know. And his nickname was Rough and Ready. Didn't know. This town was, (laughs) this is kind of a funny story. Uh, This town was the first to secede from the Union and become its own republic. Mm -hmm. But in 1850, as a protests against mining taxes and prohibition and laws that weren't enforced, um, they they seceded. But their rebellion was short-lived. Three months later, while making preparations to celebrate the 4th of July, Independence Day, um, the miners realized that they couldn't participate in the party because Rough and Ready was no longer officially a part of the U.S. Uh-huh. <laughs> so they quickly uh, voted to rejoin the Union, and the party was on once again. 
it's pretty interesting. <laughs> Pretty yeah, cool. I thought that was kind of a, a, a cute one. But an interesting anyway, one. the town is still in existence, but it only has like fifteen hundred people that live there. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Uh, the next town is in New Mexico. <laughs> this one is called Anal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anal, New Mexico. Uh, this is actually a ghost town. I it is in <laughs> uh, Debaca County, New Mexico, and this. Town was probably actually named after the herb called Arroyo de Anil, uh -huh. but it grows <clears throat> prevalent in this area. But um, this one has a funny story. <laughs> the name actually has the the actual name of the town of Anil has what's called a tilde. Mm -hmm. It's like that little symbol above the letter N. It's pronounced Anyal, uh, <laughs> but not Anil. But that's just how we would say it. All right. All right. In 1916, a country post office was established. The new postmaster spelled the name as it sounded to him, which was anal. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, anyway, old-timers still, uh, still use anil for the, for the creek, but were obliged to have their mail addressed to anal. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but today it's still known as anal. So. Did you? Did you? Is is that next to that town called Uranus? <laughs> I think so. Because <laughs> you've heard of that town, right? Oh, there God. is a town called Uranus. Uh, and, so that one was kind of. Or funny. it's yeah, anus. Not... It might be anus. So I wonder if anal is next to anus. If it's really anal. If they're both in the same yes. state. <laughs> But it didn't take. It's anal. Oh, it's God. anal. God. It's anal? Okay. I wonder if it's moist and anal. I don't know. <laughs> don't, that's kind of gross. Let's or just move on. It might be really dry. Oh, the chat room's kind of having fun with this one. I guess they are. <laughs> oh, I see a lot of deletes I see, going yeah, on I know, out there. Our moderators are having to get, stay on top oh, of that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, the next town. Um, this one is Coldfoot, Alaska. Uh -huh. Coldfoot. It was founded in 1898 when thousands of stampeders rushed the area in search of gold. Originally called Slate Creek, the village's name was changed to Coldfoot because prospectors would get cold feet um, about staying in the harsh winters up there and they would go south. <laughs> In its heyday, Cold Foot was home to a gambling hall, mm -hmm. two roadhouses, some seven saloons, and ten working girls. Wow. <laughs> I hope the population wasn't too big then. Ten. <laughs> yeah. Ten working girls. Um, and actually, they, na they named some creeks around that area after some of those working girls, which is kind of funny. So they became celebrities. They were yeah. popular girls. Um, yeah. <laughs> By 1912, uh, the miners relocated 13 miles north to Wiseman, the town of Wiseman, in looking for richer grounds. But most of Cold Foot was dismantled, and they brought it to Wiseman. Uh -huh. And they used the wood for building your firewood. And today, I guess, a few cabins still stand in Wiseman that came from the old Cold Foot town. But just to give you a little brief story about Cold Foot, uh, it actually boomed again in the 1970s. Um, this was during the construction of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, but it was only brief. A few years later, in 1981, Iditarod champion Dick Mackey, he set up an old school bus in Cold Foot and began selling hamburgers to truckers um, driving the Hall Road. So soon after, because... They found the truckers found Coldfoot to be a perfect halfway stop between Fairbanks and Prudho Bay. I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. The truckers actually started helping constructing a permanent building. Uh, today, the building it, ser it still serves as the farthest north truck stop in the United States. Oh, wow. And if you've ever seen that show, Ice Road Truckers. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, that that um, uh, the highway that that Coldfoot is located on is is that highway. Oh, okay. Interesting fun fact there. That is. A, <laughs> that's a good one. 
All right, the next one. Uh, this one was neat. Chicken Alaska. Chicken Yay, Alaska. Yay, we're going to chicken. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> chicken Alaska. It's a community which was founded on gold mining. It is one of the few surviving gold rush towns in Alaska. In 1886, this is 10 years before the Klondike gold rush, mm -hmm. gold was discovered on Franklin Creek. So how did it get its name? Well, due to the prevalence of a bird that was called, and I'm going to probably bitcher the name. Okay. Um, <laughs> did, you, did you say bitcher or butcher? <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> Maybe I did. I didn't want to call her on it. I was already pronouncing it in my head. Sorry. You may have to bleep that one. <laughs> bleep. Too late. It's, anyway, this bird that lives up there is called the Patarmagon. I don't know. Tarmagon? That sounds right. Patarmagon. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, they, they were wanting that name to be the name of the community. However, spelling that, um, they just couldn't agree upon the spelling, gotcha. so they decided to call it chicken to avoid embarrassment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you out there, the population of chicken was seven, okay. and that was in 2010. Okay. Um, it, I guess during gold mining season, it, it does spike up to like 17, but... Um, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that was a, a fun fact, and and we're going to be part of that 17 you this are. July, so I'm really looking forward to that. See? You can still find gold up there. <laughs> yeah, plenty, so you'll be fine. All right, I got a couple more towns. Uh, the next one, this was Casa Diablo, and this is Casa Diablo, California. Okay. Um, of course, this means House of the Devil, but it was actually not a true town because it didn't really have a post office. It was a large mining and milling camp that flourished in the first decade of the 1900s. And uh, early explorers noticed, they named the town this because they noticed that there were some hot springs in the area in geysers. And that's how it got its, it got its name. Um, this location is noted as a Native American mining and manufacturing site mm -hmm. that specializes in obsidian. So that um, gemstone, I guess, or that gem yeah. mineral or whatever. You mean dragon glass? <laughs> <laughs> That's from Game of Thrones. Um, oh, it's a Game of wow. Thrones pun. Wow, okay. Pun. okay. See, I wouldn't have, two weeks ago, I wouldn't have gotten that joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> now I see. But anyway, um, in 1881, Casa Diablo, um, the stagecoach station that was in the area ceased operating and they used it for a trading post they ended up also using this town as a seasonal resort a tavern a gas um, they had a gas station a grocery store and in 1983 it was transformed into a geothermal electric generating plant probably because of the hot springs i'm guessing you probably yeah and last but not least this one is a funny one um, I don't know that it has anything to do with mining, but I just had to throw it in so, there because we actually were we actually went to this place and it it's funny. Okay. It's it's called Nothing, Arizona. Nothing, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think a lot of Ariz if you've ever driven from Arizona to Las Vegas, um, you you pretty much pass it. Okay. Um, on Route 93, I do believe. So, in keeping with the tradition of naming a town an odd name. Um, this is actually a recent one, and like I said, we, we, we stopped off at this little town, and there is actually nothing there, <laughs> but no, there is a sign. Wait, wait, there's and nothing I, and I nothing? I did find that picture, by the way, Chad, <laughs> that I was looking for earlier of nothing Arizona, but anyway, this town was established in 1977 mm -hmm. by Richard Buddy Kenworthy, and he got, and he <laughs> got its name when Kenworthy and three other buddies of his were drinking and decided to name the gas station nothing nothing um just because it was in the middle of nowhere right they ended up running that gas station and they had a little garage and they also sold little souvenirs on the side and at its height nothing had a population of four wow 
I guess nowhere was already taken, Probably. so they did nothing. So nowhere is nothing. was actually taken, I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, nowhere is another um, town I did see, but it didn't have a mining connection, so I didn't. <laughs> this one really doesn't either, but it's just funny. <laughs> I like that but name. anyway, this town was abandoned May 2005. Oh, okay. And in August 2008... Uh, the gas station started collapsing uh-huh. and an attempt to revive nothing <laughs> occurred sometime after August 28, 20, 2008. Sorry. Um, it was purchased by a man named Mike Jensen. Right. He opened a pizza business in 2009, um, but it didn't. He was hoping to open a mini mark and uh, a mini mart, sorry, and have like accommodations for RVs, but it just didn't pan out. Um, it's since been abandoned, so this, there is like nothing there. <laughs> but we did nothing. stop by. Um, you got to take a picture of the sign. Well, yeah, yeah you and you know, uh, the sense of humor of the Arizona Department of Transportation decided to put a, a call box located at nothing oh really and then they have a little sign there and the sign says the staunch citizens of nothing are full of hope faith and belief in the work ethic through the years these dedicated people had faith in nothing they hoped for nothing worked at nothing for nothing (laughs) wow that's deep (laughs) That's the sign. So there's nothing. Yeah. Nothing. So I thought that was kind of a funny story yeah, about nothing. And a... I guess more recently, I, in 2016, they did run a, a Father's Day promotion that uh-huh. was basically saying, give dad nothing. It was Century 21 Real Estate. Oh. And uh, you could purchase a nothing. free, <laughs> well, I guess it's, it's free. You're not really purchasing. Right. But anyway, it's a free 24-hour lease. Uh, oh. Essentially, for a piece of property at Nothing, Arizona. I'll be doing. And uh, that way, you could say, you know, if your father asks, when you ask your father, "What do you want for Father's Day?" and they say, "Oh, nothing," you could give them nothing. You can give them nothing. Just what they want. There you go. <laughs> so there's literally nothing and nothing. There's nothing in. There's nothing in nothing there's but nothing a sign. In, there's nothing in nothing and but old, a sign and a call abandoned box. gas station. Wow. Slash pizza. Slash pizza joint, right? Slash mini mart. Nothing in nothing. That's pretty interesting. That'd be cool. I'd like to see. That. I thought that was a fun, <laughs> that, fun fact. That is a fun, fun fact. That's yeah. super fun, fun fact. Man. I really went off on a tangent there, though. I mean, because I was looking for something totally different, and I came across that. I'm like, oh, you know funny. what? That sounds more fun. You found some funny stuff to this this week. You know, <laughs> definitely some good stuff. Had the chat room all fired up with. Did it? Yeah, well, God, yeah, but the anal thing, it went, it went, oh, it went Oh, goodness, nuts. I knew that one would get <laughs> It's our listeners, know. what can we say? You know, it's anal. Like... <laughs> or anal. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> you should see what weird town names you can find like that, Kathleen. Oh, just, there's so many. Just get a list of them there. all and do them all one night. Just, these are the weirdest names I could come across. Oh, there's like hundreds. Oh, okay. is there really that night. many? Wow. Yeah, there was a ton. <clears throat> Crazy. Okay, but cool. I'd still like to know more. And don't forget, if you send it, we will read it. New segment. You send it to us, we'll read it on the air. What and are they gonna send it to? No, they can send it to. To well, they they can send it to me. You know, Tim at GoldProspectorSpace. Dot com, or they can send it to. Our inboxes on Gold Prospector Space, if they'd like, right? That okay. could work. Send it any way, any, any way you want. Send it to us in a message and on Messenger, however you want. We want to hear from our <laughs> we listeners. We do. And if you send it, we'll read it on air. That's, now, are we going to do this on Wednesday? We could do it on Wednesday and Sunday if we have to, if there's okay, that if much. We, if we have enough, right. we'll do it for if both. If we have enough, we'll, we'll do it on both days. If not, we'll just do it as a Wednesday segment. That'd be cool. And I don't know what happened to Scott. I think I don't know. He, I don't know. Well, remember he was saying something about if I don't get things, my battery's going to die. Blah, blah, blah. I think his battery crapped out. It must have. Cause what I, a night of yeah, snafus. Yeah, because yeah, I, I sent him a message on Messenger and nothing. So I'm going to figure his battery's crapped out. Yeah. 
Mm, that's all I got. It, and he missed out on some good action. He could have got. But him. don't forget the uh, the raffle, uh, Bob Drake. Thank that's you for right. uh, posting a comment in on the site under your uh, forum for the GPS fundraiser. But the raffle ends. The cutoff is the twenty seventh at midnight. Eastern um, Standard so Time. So make sure you get in. That's right. right. Only a yeah. couple days left. Again, congratulations to Dwight on his win on the Dress Like Swift Water Contest. And what else? Is there anything and else? I realize I said 2008 as 2008. I'm tired. Oh, I, I know, Kelly. <laughs> I, I, I know the feel. <laughs> oh, Ray said we was too hard on Swift Water. Oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think his feelings got hurt. Yeah, he's crying right now, I think. So. Yeah. Playing his flute to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. That's probably what he's doing. Screw them well, guys. We're, we're right about time. You know, we, yeah. we made yeah. the full show. So oh, yeah, thanks, everybody, did. for yes. you know bearing through our technical difficulties. Yeah. And it didn't do it again, so I, I don't know, That's what, good. know what happens. But, uh, yeah, we're very sorry about that. But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, we'll find out what happened to Swiftwater, and we'll let everybody know on Sunday. But uh, <laughs> on that note, <laughs> we're out of here. If Scott was here, I'd have him take us out with some flute music. But since Good night, Gold not, Diggers. <laughs> there you go. We're out have here. yourself a golden night. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Golden family. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next Sunday at 730 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com.